scanning him for a microchip. Sometimes animals that are rescued, um, if they've been injured or abandoned, um, they're looked after in captivity and then later released. They'd be marked with a microchip. So this is an otter that was found in North Wales um, and he obviously had quite a light impact because there was very little damage um, externally. Uh, so we decided to have him mounted um, so that we could use it as a, as a teaching aid. Some recent research we've been doing has been using blood samples and screening them for um, antibodies to a parasite, Toxoplasma gondii. And this is a parasite which is really of enormous relevance to, to humans. It infects about a third of the human population worldwide. The, the parasite spreads basically um, with, with cat poo. Any cat poo that's either left um, in people's gardens and washes through into rivers, or cat poo that um, people put down the toilets and then it comes out through our sewerage system, um, that contains thousands of the, the oocysts, which are the infective stage of the parasite, and those can live for a very long time then in the environment, up to a year in the environment, and remain infective. Otters are one of the species that can become infected um, as those oocysts enter the watercourses and, um, and are picked up, either by the otters directly or by other species which they're feeding on. And we're using the otters as a way of really mapping the distribution of Toxoplasma gondii in the wild. Um, and further to that, we're hoping to look at the, the genetics of the, the parasite and see how that reflects the, the genetics of the parasite in the human population. We found so far that um, Toxoplasma is very widespread um, in the otter populations. We found it's more common in older animals, which we would have expected. And there's no difference um, in the rate that of males and females um, picking it up.